I am going to demonstrate the setup and the use of these new surgical implant guides from InnoDent. We start with two guides. They are mirror images of each other. This one will work in the upper left and the lower right, and the blue one works in the upper right and the lower left quadrants. They are fully mechanical with a series of just four screws. They are movable in all planes of space. So this is where we would be putting our uh, drill. And as you can see, it is fully movable anywhere that we need to uh, adjust this to place an implant. So let me just show you how this works. We begin with our model, the model of where we would like to replace the tooth, and we make a small divot, either with our hand piece, or I have a uh, hand drill right here that I can make a small divot. Now I'm going to take a guide, and I'm going to put some uh, bite paste right here on the receptor sites on the bottom and then with the bite paste I can just flip it over and place it over the implant site and let that dry. Sometimes I add a little bit of extra bite paste here on the buckle or on the lingual side to give it uh, a lot of grasp and security. After that hardens, I can take a uh, barred parker and uh, just uh, clean off any excess so that it's easier and make sure that there's no paste here where the arm is going to swing. Now by loosening the four screws, just about a quarter of a turn, it makes this guide fully movable in all planes of space. So the first thing I do is I take the alignment pin which is provided. I put it into the bushing and then I seat it into the divot which I have made. Now I am able to hold it in that position what looks close. Now I can tighten screw number one and then the locking screw right in front of it. And now this arm is locked in place and it makes this much easier to do the final adjustments. Now as I need to move a mesial distal or buccal lingual, I just uh, line it up when it's in the position that I desire, then I'm going to come into this screw. I twist it until I feel contact and then a quarter of a turn past that. Then I come up to my last adjusting screw, close it till I feel contact and a quarter of a turn. Now I have a drill path that I've established that's exactly in the center of the implant site just where I want it. Now at this point I can take an x-ray pin, it's just a stainless steel pin, slide it into the channel and as you can see with this quadrant guide I can easily put either my image receptor or a bite wing piece of film right here take an x-ray and I will easily see this alignment pin and whether I'm angled toward either of the adjacent roots or whether I'm just in the spot that I want. It's an excellent tool without having to go to cone beam or anything else, just using uh, the existing and available x-rays that are in your office. When I'm uh, satisfied that I've got the right drill path, I take the pin out and I'm ready to take this off the model and go right to the patient's mouth at this point. As you can see, I have a side loading window here. So with my drill, I can just come in from the buckle, slide it right in and up, and I am ready to make my osteotomy. Uh, in about three minutes, you go from uh, out of the box to ready to do surgery, fully mechanical, 
wonderful guide.